about mathematics in daily life. Do you realize the importance of mathematics in daily life? Mathematics is the key to science. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is number. Let me show you some math challenges in our daily life. Firstly, I will tell you about logical thinking questions. The first question is, along a 900 meter road, a tree is planted in every 15 meter. How many trees along the road are there? Usually, people simply answer 900 divided by 15, but that's wrong. If you are asking why is that wrong, because if we only divide that, we forget about the one corner in the last of the road. So, let me show you how you answer that correctly. First way is, there is 900 meter, then we divide it by 15, so it's 60. But don't forget about the corner of the road. We need one more. So 60 plus 1 is 61. So the final answer is 61. Using the similar logic like the last question, I will show you the correct answer. So every cap is 8 meters. And the number of caps is the number of flame minus 1. The number of flame is 153. So, the number of caps is 153 minus 1 equals to 152. And one segment is 8 meters. So, the distance between the first and the 153rd trees is 152 times 8, which is 1216. So, in 4 minutes, John is already 1,216 meters. So, every 1 minute is 1,216 meters divided by 4, which is 304. So, 30 minutes is 30 times 304, which is 9,120. So, John's school is... 9,120 meters away from his house. Next, I will talk about number theory in our daily life. Okay, so the first question is, Lala needs to build wall from bricks to build warehouse. The owner wants to have 400 meter square area of the warehouse. What are the most efficient length and width of the warehouse so we can use the least amount of bricks what do you think the way to answer it is so there's the option of 400 meter square is the following 1 times 400 2 times 200 4 times 100 5 times 80 8 times 50 10 times 40 20 times 20 so which one is the most efficient one, you think? So, if you think this is the 400 times 1, you should add it so it's 400 plus 1 plus 400 plus 1. And it's 802. It's 802. But if we try the most square one, it's 20 times 20. So, you can just say 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 or 20 times 4. It's only 80. So... The most efficient one is 20 and 20. So, the answer is 20 and 20. So, it's 80. So, the total of the bricks of the answer is 80. Lastly, I will show you some geometry math challenges. A builder wanted to paint this black area. It is made up of two squares. One of the square has a side length of 6 meter. The other one has a side length of 4 meter. And this figure is not drawn to scale. What is the black color region area? 
The answer is, first let me imagine the gray part is also part of this square. So it became a rectangle. Then we should name it like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So it's easier. So the first step is, we knew that A, B is 6. And B, C is 4. And we need to know A, C. So A, C is A, B plus B, C. And A, B is 6. B, C is 4. So if we add it, it's 10. So A, C is 10. Next, we need to find the area of A, C, F, T. The way is A, A, C times A, T. Which is A, C is 10 and this is 6. So A, C, F, T is 60. Then, we knew that A, P, E, D is 36. And we also knew that triangle A, P, D is half of the uh, square A, P, E, T. So, triangle A, P, D is half of A, P, E, T, which is 18 because of 36 divided by 2. Next, we have to know what is the area of J, H, F, T. So, J, H, F is 10 and H, F is 4. If we time it, times it, so J, H, F, T is 10 times 4, which is 40. After that, we also need to find triangle DFH. Here is triangle DFH. So, triangle DFH is 20 because of uh, rectangle HFT. It's 40 divided by 2, which is 20. Now that we knew that triangle DFH is 20, we should subscribe to find final answer. Now, all the information we knew is ACFT ACFT is 60 and TFH is 20 and ADP is 18 and the great part is 8 because of 4 times 2. So the way we solve the question is ACFT minus T F H minus A D B minus square part. So it's sixty minus twenty minus eighteen minus eight. So it's forty minus eighteen minus eight. So it's twenty two minus eight, and the final answer is fourteen. Hip hip hooray! That's all for now. Thank you for watching. And also, don't forget that math is adventure and there is no adventure without challenges.